Now let's take a look at making that menu animate in and out smoothly. And before I get started, I just want to mention that all of the code for this tutorial series can be found on my GitHub page. So please take a look at the video description below for a link to my YouTube channel, oh, to my GitHub profile. And now let's just jump straight into the tutorial. So in order to make smooth transitions, I'm going to be making use of a package for React called React Spring. And if we scroll down and take a look at the use transition API, you can see that there's a bunch of cool little transitions that we'll be able to use like this uh, peace sign fading in and out. And this is actually what we're most interested in at the moment because this is the example for mounting and unmounting single component reveals, which is exactly what our menu is. It's one component that's mounting in and mounting out. And by the way, there's a bunch of other examples down here if you want to take a look at what uh, React Spring is capable of. But for now, let's take a look at how to use this. So what we're going to do is copy this import and we're going to paste that into the top of our component. And of course, when I save this, it should break our app. And that's because I need to add React Spring to our project with Yarn Add. So let's go back over to uh, my terminal and I'm going to yarn add react spring. And of course that should install it for me. So now I have spring in my project. The next thing I wanna do is start making use of it. But I think before I do that, I'm going to just make, I'm gonna save these classes somewhere. So we have the uh, menu classes that I'm gonna put there. And then I'm also going to put the uh, mask classes here as well. And that's, I'm just saving for later. But now what I can do is get rid of all of our current uh, HTML involved for the menu and the mask. And then we can also get rid of this. And so we've almost got a fresh component that does almost nothing anymore. But what we want to do is look at the, inst uh, the installation of this component here. So you can see that they start off by creating a state variable and we've already got that state variable here. So I'm not going to worry too much about copying that. The next thing they do is they make a variable for the transitions. So I'm going to pull those into my project. And I guess we can just fix the indentation of this. Uh, and then the next thing I wanna do is I'm actually going to need to change this variable here, show, because my variable is show menu, and that should fix that problem. And now what we need to do is take a look at the return statement. So I'm going to copy this, and we can paste this in here. Uh, but what they're doing is they're returning a bunch of animated divs. Now we actually want all of this code but we want it inside of our current navigation. So I'm gonna take the transition and we're just gonna cut that out and we'll open up some brackets down here and paste that in. And then fix the indentation a little bit and we'll get rid of that return statement. Okay, so hopefully when I click my menu now, I get a little peace sign that fades in and out. It's small, but it's there and it works. So what I'd like to do now is instead of using this animated div with the peace sign, we can get rid of that. And I'm gonna break this down a little bit. So we'll just organize my JSX. And now for my menu, what I'll do is I'll grab that CSS that we're saving and I'll paste that in here. And then I'm just going to add in some text to say this is the menu. And now when I click on my menu, we should have this menu fading in and fading out. So that's kind of what I'm going for, except I'd like this to slide in and out. So we're going to uh, manage that by changing the transitions. Although I think the fade works perfectly for our black background that should go in behind the menu. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to copy this down or up. And so this first transition is gonna be our black background. And that was our mask. So I'm just going to take that class 
and paste that up here and we can get rid of this. So this is just gonna be an empty black background that fades in and out. So uh, now when I click on this, you can see that black background fades in as well as our menu. Uh, and of course it's not closing anymore. So what I'd like to do is add in an on-click listener down here, just to say that this should close. So it's going to be an arrow function and this should set show menu to false. And it should always set show menu to false because it should always be closing the menu. It should never be opening the menu. So now uh, that fades in and if I click on it, it also closes the menu. Now what we should do is probably look at changing those transitions. So we can get rid of these comments. And I'm going to make a mask transitions for our mask and we're going to apply those mask transitions here and so this is actually just an array map hopefully you're a little bit familiar with javascript and you know how mapping arrays works and then the next thing we want to do is copy this constant down and this will be the menu transitions and we're going to copy that variable name and we'll paste that here and so we'll loop through the variable transitions except now what we want to do is change the from and leave and opacity. So I've already prepared a bunch of transitions that I'm just going to paste in. Uh, what this does is it'll go from opacity zero and then also transform it from negative 100 on the X axis to opacity one and also transform it to 0% on the X axis, meaning that this should slide in from the X axis or from the left hand side of the screen. Uh, so now if we come back over to our menu and we open that up, you can see that the menu slides in and slides out. Perfect. Now all we need to do is add in a few finishing touches. So what I'm gonna do is just go down to the menu over here and let's also give that some padding and then we'll maybe add in a span tag with a bit of a heading or just something that says this is the menu. And then we can also add in an unordered list with uh, some list items like the home page. And that should pretty much be it. So if we open up the menu, uh, whoops, we've got some typos there. So this should be the menu and I also want that to have a class name of font bold. So now if we open this up, we have a menu. And so that's all I have for you in this video. Please don't forget to subscribe, leave a like, leave a comment, share this video with your friends, tell them that this is the best React tutorial series you've ever seen. Even if it isn't, I need the exposure and I'll see you guys next time.